Maestro, I'm so alone. Don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam. Uh, are you talking about this? That's about as magic beam as I've got. Hello, everyone. Doc on the clock uh, with more 48-hour uh, contests by Magmammal. And it's time to go to... Serving cart? Odd, what's this cart doing here? Did someone move it out of the dining hall? The cart is unusual. Let's quickly see if, uh... Anyone has anything to say about that? Nope, apparently not. Anyway, let's go to Tier 5! Are you ready for some extreme mini golf? Yes! They get ready to be disappointed! What if I say no? The course architect got mixed up with the got the blueprints mixed up with the Transylvanian castle. Putters keep getting lost. We've gone out of scorecards, and Power Muscler ate our vending machine. <laughs> Enjoy your visit. It's been messy. But anyway, let's get to. Uh, 69th place. Well, that's a familiar name. Dr. Novigan, with a waste of space. Yes, I got 69th place, which means I'm the real winner of the contest, obviously. Because, well, you know, it's the funny number. But, uh, yes, this is my level. And now, I have not done a, uh... I, for Magnum Level 2, I did a uh, special... <laughs> dev commentary at the end of my actual construction period. I didn't do that this time because I didn't really feel like it. Um, but let's go see what we have here. <laughs> so this is a little intro room to uh, introduce that, yes, we're in low gravity. And a little setup. Dock at remote suite station. Processing station 37 complete. Mission parameters. Foreman of RWPS-37 has been neglecting his duties in favor of an illegal space penguin breeding program. Terminate instances of the invasive species and the foreman if necessary to restore order. Just very, very basic. You won't see any more text. But, uh, so I got low gravity, I got pangs. Both of them are, uh, kind of go together pretty well. And I got these guys, which are kind of going to be annoying. And we've got also the slidey penguins. You'll be seeing more of those. And we've got this guy here, who does make some appearances and then doesn't do all that much else. Uh, this guy did not fit very well with everything else. I tried. I. Didn't, there wasn't really much to do with it, though. Spikes overhead, so you have to be kind of careful. But they're not really that much of a threat. And then here, we have compactors. <laughs> now, one of the bit of feed feedback I got during the playtesting was that these were not introduced well, because someone could get to them and go under them before they could crush you. Well, that's why I put this in. You have to be, like, blitzing top speed for that to happen. Now, what I do have here are a lot of these, uh, combo crushers. They move at different- they move at slightly different speeds and are desynced, so you should be able to get through them all right, but you do have to be kind of careful in timing. Not making a stage based around timing. It's like, I know my weaknesses. Oh, and here we have some of these guys. They're invincible. Uh, so you have to uh, be avoiding their stuff while you're navigating this slightly treacherous uh, waste course. I, for the record, I haven't played this uh, stage since uh, I submitted it, so... Uh, so yeah. 
Also, a spike drop. It's not the world's most dangerous spike drop, but as you can see, it can be dangerous. And now we're combining this ping the penguins with spawners! And with these guys, which still aren't used for well. This section does get a little bit spammy. That was, that's definitely a weakness of the stage is here. I want to use spawners. I'm not doing very well, am I? I want to use spawners uh, because the regular pangs were just kind of not very interesting or challenging. Spawners make things a little bit more interesting. You gotta actually uh, move around a little bit. I probably should have put them a little bit slower to spawn, though. I think they spawn a little bit too fast. And that makes them uh, more annoying than they have to be. Hey, you can't go over that. You're not supposed to go over. What's this? There's something over here. Yes! It's Mutanx! A nice little bonus for anyone who sees that. There is no... This is not a reference to anything. It's just for fun. Okay, now time for the part which most people hate it. Crushers plus these guys. Oh! So that can happen. It didn't usually happen when I was uh, testing, though. But yeah, the whole point is you, these are a hazard that you have to weave around while you're dealing with the crushers. I wanted a synthesis between uh, this uh, little factor and uh, everything else. And, oh, the super uh, low pressure, too. And these got way desynced. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now here, things are pretty much not dangerous anymore. <laughs> I say as I get crushed. I do. F I feel like these crushers, though, are faster than uh, I originally set them up to be. That might just be me forgetting, but uh, I thought they were a little bit slower than this. Oh, I jumped a little bit too soon there. This was not meant to be a particularly challenging crusher course, but I wanted to be a little bit challenging. And this is just so good. And we now have a boss! Unlike, yes, unlike Escape Sequence, this does have a boss. And it's Dustman! But, uh, it's a mildly modified Dustman. Uh, so his, uh, vacuum is a lot more powerful. You have to be sliding to stay away. I did this because, well, as you can see, even with that, Dustman is not particularly difficult. And that's my stage. What? It's not insanely long? <laughs> No, it's not. So, uh... <coughs> before we get to judge comments, which I haven't seen yet, by the way. Uh, what do I think of my own stage? I think it plays pretty appropriately. It's not a great stage. Um, so, 
one thing that I have learned, as I've mentioned a few times here, is that just because you have box items doesn't mean you shouldn't put in more than just the box items. That was a uh, that was a conceptual failing on my part, which I didn't really totally entirely understand at the time. Um, but I understand that more now. I think it's uh, that's a part of a learning process. Um, <clears throat> it's also not the greatest of boxes. I didn't like. Uh, I didn't super like this, but this is my second roll, and the first box was even worse. I don't remember what was in each box, uh, so don't ask me, but the first box, I hate it. So I think I went with this one just because I wasn't sure I wanted to take the risk of the third one being even worse. It's not terrible. I mean, I've seen worse, uh, but... Uh, yeah, it's... I don't feel like... I don't feel like I like these enemies very much. <laughs> They're definitely enemies I'd rather work with. But I do like that I made the uh, Hammer Dudes a little bit more of a hazard in some areas. Um, because I don't really think they're very effective as just like regular enemies. Um, the Pangs were basically just spam. Which isn't really the best thing. So, yeah, it's... I mean, I don't think this is a great stage, but I was working off of 48 hours, so... That's part of the issue. Another part of the issue is that I don't really... <laughs> when I'm making a stage, I do best if I have an idea well fleshed out in advance. And uh, I did not have any ideas fleshed out here because I didn't know what I'd have to work around. So I feel like this sort of contest is not really the uh, ideal way for me to work. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm not, that doesn't mean I'm not glad I participated. Um, I'm glad I did participate. Uh, it helped me understand a little bit a few more things. Um, and, uh, yeah. But, you know, it's it's a mediocre stage. But it got over 50%. Uh, it was a uh, better performer than my uh, uh, Magalax 3 stage, for sure. Which had a number of the same issues, along with... Um, not knowing the engine at all, so... Uh, but, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Illustrates good use of the assets and not much else. That's, yes, that's the thing. Uh, I didn't really do much outside of just using the assets. This is a very uh, <laughs> accurate critique. Yeah, slower spawners. I would have, uh, thinking back, I would have made actually all the spawners slower. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, uh, it was not particularly innovative. It did try, and try to synthesize some things, but uh, it didn't really do much new with any of the uh, stuff that was there. Aesthetically, it's blank. Welcome to Dr. Novakine's levels. I don't... I'm just... I don't know how to make a good aesthetic. This is, this is something that is just... I will never know how to make a good aesthetic. That's just... Let's just leave that right out there. My levels are going to look kind of not great. <laughs> Too many penguins are hard to make on this level. Yeah, uh, PKWG, not a big fan of the spam. I totally understand. I think, I think I spammed them too much myself. I just didn't know what else to do with them. Honestly, that is the honest truth. I didn't know what to do. Uh, 
The Crusher section at the end felt kind of cramped. It was meant to be. I probably still was a little bit too cramped. I think I should have made a little more space between a few of the hazards there. And yeah, I don't think it's a particularly, you know, exciting stage. <laughs> I don't have any gimmicks that I can use <laughs> to make it a really exciting stage, sorry. I don't feel like the compactors, the compactors are a hurry up and wait thing. There's, you can't do anything about that. Compactors are a lot more interesting in low gravity because you can use your extra long jumps to wait their cycles out in midair. That was, that was actually noticed and intended. I'm glad that that was pointed out. Oh, that was actually, uh, that was a little slightly less intended, but it also works. <laughs> Despite the value of attempts to make the pachinko guys relevant. Yeah. <laughs> Effort was made, but uh, it was a losing battle to fight. Hey, good. Hey, I actually, uh, considering what I've seen from a lot of MJAC's reviews, I'll take that as a win. They didn't, they didn't hate it. It's, it's weird. It's a, such a weird score distribution, though. I don't, I don't think I've seen yet, uh, Parmesan and MJAC having the two higher scores. The crushers were not an afterthought. The gravity was sort of intended to make them easier. Because, well, I mean, look, they're compactors. They're in, they're, it's an instant death gimmick. <laughs> instant death gimmicks are not the greatest. And they're also a waiting gimmick. They're a waiting gimmick and an instant death gimmick. I did with them what I felt I could to make them less... Uh, of a pain. <laughs> the penguins! The penguins! I may have spammed the penguins a teensy bit too much. No, this is, uh, the judge comments are, I feel, very on point. I don't disagree with much of anything that they said. I largely agree with most of what was said. Um, and I think those are all very fair criticisms of the stage, which I kind of highlighted in a bunch of them as well. It's not the most interesting stage. It's not the most innovative stage. It's a stage which kind of puts... Uh, a lot of emphasis on the box elements, but doesn't do a whole lot else. And that's... That's something I will own up to. Um, I don't... I'm not unhappy with the stage. I think I learned something from the fact that I did this. That um, I learned a few things about my, uh, my style of level design and... Uh, level generation, level idea generation. I think if I were to participate in a contest like this in the future, <clears throat> that I had a short time limit, I would come up with some ideas beforehand and then try to work the box elements in around those ideas. Um, I know that's not exactly the typical spirit of these, is to, is to build around the box, but I think that if I build around the box, I'm going to end up with just this kind of same thing. I'm not going to be able to actually uh, 
I'm not gonna have a solid enough idea that I can flesh out and construct in that short amount of time. <clears throat> I need to have, I need to be ruminating on these and developing them beforehand in order to create something that's actually kind of interesting. Um, so that would be my approach, is to have some ideas and then when, I mean, not pre-building the stage, but kind of pre-ideating it. And then when I have to hit the ground running with the box, um, just make those kind of the center point of the stage, whatever the idea is. <coughs> I'm sure it's possible. I have ideas along those lines for uh, other things. I have written down a bunch of ideas. Maybe I should write down some more. But yeah, that was uh, basically my uh, flashbang dev commentary for my stage. I still got 69th place. That's a victory. <laughs> anyway, also I got over uh, I got over Kamikaze Scott's friend. That's another victory. <laughs> anyway, that's all for me for now. Next time we will continue on with tier five, and uh, I won't have to think about uh, dev commentary. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.